Starting lineups for Michigan include Leah Brown, whose last game of the regular season was against Ohio State. She had a career-high 36 points. As for OSU, keep an eye on Ricky Harris. She had a career-high 23 points in the game against Michigan two weeks ago. For the 76th time ever, it's Ohio State and Michigan in women's basketball. OSU won both matchups in the regular season. Jordan Hobbs with an early shot, and it's good, and she's fouled. Well, that's about as good as it gets if you're Michigan going against your rival, Ohio State, who's already beaten Michigan twice this season. Jordan Hobbs in position, and Ricky Harris barrels right into her on the box out. you got to let the shooter land. Jordan Hobbs real pleased with herself after that one. It's the free throw. Hobbs started the last seven games of the regular season for the injured Layla Felia, but Felia has been back for Michigan. She's not starting, but she will play a bunch of minutes. She was supposed to be on limited minutes in the game yesterday. She wasn't, and how's this for a start, Taylor? Mike Sell answers with a three. Not only does March bring out the best in competition, but playing your rival brings out the best in competition. Taylor Mike Sell showing off the unlimited range. Seven points in the first 30 seconds of this game. First team all Big Ten performer. Tough shot with the left hand and the fight for the rebound will create another foul on Ohio State. Kevin McGuffett is in his 10th year in charge of the Ohio State Buckeyes. They love tempo, they love transition, they love to outrun teams. They're also trying to get back to back appearances in the semifinals. They had an incredible start to the season, winning their first 19 games, but have stumbled a bit largely because they haven't had J.C. Sheldon. They haven't had J.C. Sheldon, they haven't had depth, but they've had Cody McMahon right there, the Big Ten freshman of the year. Man averages 14 points a game in this her first year. She has started from day one. Every single game. McMahon's IQ is off the charts, especially from a defensive perspective. In Ohio State's 2 2 1 or 1 2 2 press, she sits in that back line and reads the eyes of the ball handler with E. She'll get a lot of interceptions in this game. Great feed and the finish for Williams. You talked in the open about Leah Brown, her ability to find teammates. Her facilitating is off the charts. And Walker with the short shot. Kaiser with the board. It's going to be big for Michigan to keep Ohio State to one and done situations because they've really struggled against the press this season. Brown! Nice drive. Buckeyes don't pick Brown up when she's coming down the floor. You got to stop the ball. That's defense 101. Ohio State, the second highest scoring team. Eighth highest scoring team, I should say, in the country. Brown with the cut. Shot doesn't go, but she'll head to the line. Winning as head coach in program history, and her team had to fight yesterday in the game against Penn State. Michigan really struggled against Penn State's press. And more than 20 turnovers, and it's been a similar theme for this Michigan team throughout the season against Ohio State twice. The Wolverines have combined for 54 turnovers. Michigan has to do a better job breaking the press, trying to be patient but quick when getting the ball up the floor. We'll point out in the game two weeks ago, they did not have Layla Felia. Glad to have her back, although we haven't seen her yet so far. And Ebony Walker with the left hand. Nice job by Walker not putting the ball on the ground. There's a whistle, and it's a chance for us to see who's coming into the game. Number four, the senior from the state of Ohio, J.C. Sheldon. First team all Big Ten last year. Led the team in points and assists and steals. J.C. Sheldon played only five games in November, got injured on her leg, came back, played one game against Maryland February 5th, and has been out ever since then. Kevin McGuff told us she has been chomping at the bit to get back in action, and they are thrilled to have her back on the court here in Minneapolis. Well, Sheldon has provided so much from a scoring standpoint, from a facilitating standpoint, like such. That's what she does best. Gets into the lane and creates for her teammates, and somebody who's going to be the energizer bunny in this press. Cody McMahon off the great feed from Sheldon. It's incredible that Ohio State's sitting here with 23 wins when they barely had Sheldon at all. 
turnover forced by Fury and a whistle. Let's look at it again. JC making an instant impact in the game. Well, Sheldon comes in off the handoff. Looks like she's moving well, just a little hesitation. She gets so low when trying to attack the basket. <laughs> the smile afterwards says it all. You gotta have fun when you're playing this game. I mean, what else are you doing it for? She's got a great smile. It's a signature of who she is. She's just a delight to be around. Yeah, McGuff did tell us, you know, normally with JC, he plays her about 40 minutes a game. <laughs> he can't do that here. He's thinking somewhere between 15 and 20, but we'll see how the game goes. As the coaches start to pretend they can't hear the athletic trainer. <laughs> what, what'd you say? Mike Zell, a three in and out, and Brown with the board. Layla Felia checked in, and she has the ball. In her second game back for Felia. She missed seven straight games the entire month of February. Theory with a rip away. It's a two-on-one break. Theory for two. And the press is back on again. Theory is so active defensively. Really an unsung hero for the Buckeyes. She just is so blue-collar with her work ethic. Does all the little things to get herself in position to be disruptive. Williams found a seam and takes advantage of it. Rebecca Mikulashikova, the post player. Mike sell the floater. And Kaiser has it. Nolan will fire from deep, and that's huge. Kim Barnes Rico said if she hits one early for us, we know it's over. Fury with the juke and the drive. She'll be shooting two. She is a second-team All-Big Ten player. She improved by 10.8 points a game. Fury does so many little things as well defensively. She's so long and makes really smart decisions within the press. Delia on the drive, stuck in to try to keep it alive, but here's Cody McMahon. Ricky Harris, I mentioned she was so good against Michigan their last meeting, a career-high 23. Mikezell, the five-footer, rolls around and in. Mikezell's really improved on getting to shots in close range. She's a great three-point shooter, 41% from beyond the arc. But now that teams are flying at her trying to contest, she's become even better at getting to the basket. And this is what OSU does. They force a turnover thanks to their press. Interesting to keep an eye, too, on Rebecca Mikulashikova. She has the ball right now. She was so important to this team, and her ceiling is so high, but she has struggled of late. She's no longer starting. Kevin McGuff told us this morning he wants her to be away from the basket, stretch the defense, get perimeter shots in. <laughs> and she does stretch. It allows Cody McMahon. Brown loves to do some of those quick no-look passes like she just did there to Nolan. Brown. With three on the shot clock, gets it to go. I mean, we have players hitting tough shots. It's not like these have been walks in the park by any means. Leah Brown, that was a high-level executed shot. Michigan shooting 60% from the floor. OSU shooting 58, which will now go up after McMahon scores again. McMahon is so balanced down low in the post. She can play with her back to the basket, but still has the footwork to turn back around, square her shoulders up, and the strength to finish squared up. Kaiser to Brown, they break the press. An opportunity for Stuck, who is having a week in Minneapolis. Lee Stuck's career high was five points before yesterday's Big Ten tournament game. She scored 11 points. She is now six for six shooting this week at the target set. For two! Delia, who was supposed to have limited minutes in the game yesterday, still played 21, and that's why. Ten seconds left for Mike Sell. Celia, the half-court heave. Almost goes. What a fast, fun first ten minutes in Minneapolis. Anthony Walker at the right elbow offline, and Michigan has it. You know, something Kevin McGuff said is he expects Michigan to start hot because sometimes in a tournament, if you play the day before and another team didn't, you have the advantage. So he has to be pretty happy that they were up by two after one. Michigan already is acclimated to this environment, the surroundings, how the rims are when you let the ball bounce off of it. So 
Listen, the way Ohio State plays, how quick they play, it's going to give a lot of teams trouble down the stretch. And it's given Michigan trouble in the last couple of meetings, but the Wolverines keeping up with the pace nicely right now. Hands third rebound of the afternoon. Sheldon with the drive and kick. Three ball is money for OSU's Emma Shoemaker. Celia with a teammate on the ground, flips up a three, and it's good. Track of how many Rick Moranis movies we reference on this show. Cody McMahon is on fire. She's got 14 points. Emily Kaiser inside. What force she has been this year in Ann Arbor. Rick Harris feeds Taylor Theory for the reverse. Theory stays so composed and under control. Brown finds Nolan, gets around Mike Self for the bucket and one. Simple, she almost rejects that Kaiser screen, so Mike Self gets caught on it. Nolan's able to get straight to the basket. This is the free throw, but a foul on OSU right afterwards. Mikula Shakova again, her second. Buckeyes have won five Big Ten tournaments. Last one came in 2018. They were the one seed last year, but lost in the semis. Four seat this year. Oh. Mike Sell with a swat. Great denial. Michigan still has it. Kaiser, and it's a foul on McMahon. That'll be her second as well. And because McMahon gets up in the air, Kaiser Feet. was really smart. There already been 12 fouls today. Foul trouble could be a story when the second half gets around. Harris alone for three. Ricky Harris, only a 25% shooter from deep. She stays in the game. Ophelia loses it. Theory stripped it away, and Mike Sells running. Brown thought she had good position, but it'll be a foul on her, and she's upset about it. It was close after one. It is staying close here. And somebody who did not play a ton in her first three years. And for Kaiser to play the way she has and earn that first team all Big Ten honors, Kim Barnes Rico said they cried together when she told her. It is so easy for people to just enter the transfer portal when they're not getting minutes right away as an underclassman. But it's a testament to Emily Kaiser putting in the work year in and year out, doing it when nobody's looking. And now, look, she is a first team all Big Ten selection and one of the best players in the Big Ten. Barely played it all her first two years as Leah Brown hits a bucket and becomes first team all Big Ten. Even when Kim Barnes Rico was telling us that, she started welling up and her ear, her, her, she started crying in front of us about it. I mean, it's just clear how much she means to her. Look at Mike Sell. We talk about her as a red hot scorer for a reason. Nolan. Straight into Walker for two. Nice job by Nolan. Finishing with the right hand. Theory on the drive. Gets her rebound and puts it back up. You got to worry about playing defense, and Kim barnes Rico is one of those coaches that is big on you must defend and practice and prove it to me in that setting in order for me to give you minutes in a game. Layla Feely inside for two. Christy? Kim barnes Rico was imploring her team to get a body on somebody. Theory. That's a foul on Brown. Both of these teams have been quite well playing neutral court games this year. OSU has won both of theirs. Michigan's won all five of theirs. Kaiser's only got four points. Sheldon on Felia with 10 to shoot. Kaiser, what a move. It's the move, and then she sees what the defense does, and then it's the counter move as well to continue going into her shot. Such a smart, high-level IQ. Ebony Walker gets the roll. Six to shoot for Nolan. Picks up her dribble. Felia. Didn't hit the rim. That should be a shot clock violation. It is. Buckeyes with a chance to stretch their lead as we go into halftime. They beat Michigan both times they played them in the regular season. 
Theory on the drive. Yes, she gets two more. An eight-point lead for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Sheldon puts her teammates in positions to be successful defensively. Her stats aren't incredible. No points. She hasn't shot the ball, but she's just made an impact. And can't really measure what it means for the team to just see her on the court and be a part of the process again. It's her seventh game of the season. It's good to have leadership on the floor as well. There's something to be said for someone who's a veteran and can just keep everybody calm, cool, and collected. Emily Kaiser with the left hand gets the scoring started in the second half. Kaiser is great at playing against physicality because Walker's been really physical. Cody McMahon spinning in the paint. Are you kidding me? Cody McMahon just came into a wall of four blue jerseys, but then just waited a second, the wall dissipated, and she was right at the rim. Nolan with a deep three-pointer. Brown's left alone. Back-to-back three-point shots missed, but the ball goes through Mike Sell's legs. A third opportunity for the Maize and Blue. See Leah Brown with her arms saying, slow down, slow down, let's get a good possession. Try to get a touch inside to Kaiser. Do just that. Emily Kaiser is so strong, smart, and crafty in the paint. Just get her the ball inside. Great drive. Guy offense has been two players for the most part. McMahon and Theory, each with 16 points. Wow, man, that's a tough layup, and it goes. Put her to the line for a chance at a three-point play. You can square up in midair. Number four score in the Big Ten this season. Leah Brown averages 18 points a contest. She's got 11 right now. Drawing the foul. She's got such a strong base, so when she goes down into contact, she has the advantage because of the space she creates. And not many people can handle the physicality that she plays with. Highest ranked recruit of this freshman class in the Big Ten this past year. Kaiser getting more touches this quarter. Frank Brown. Hard cuts lead to open looks. Now it's just a hard step towards the sideline, back to the basket for Brown. Nice pass. Walker. Stuck gets the board, and Brown is pushing. Down by four. Harris almost strips it away. Again, another no-look pass from Brown. No one with the tough layup, and she's off to the line as well. Brown has a hand in every single possession for Michigan. This can be a one-point game if Nolan hits the free throw. He's only had one so far today and missed it. It's a one-point ball game. J.C. Sheldon and the Buckeyes have had their lead. Batted down to one. Michigan's outscored OSU 12-5 to here in the third quarter. Cody McMahon, short. Theory, short. Kaiser with the rebound. Nolan. McMahon with the board. Got to stop her in transition. Dishes to Theory for an easy two. Even letting McMahon dribble as far as she did left an open angle for Theory to get to the basket. Michigan has to get back in transition defense. Break that press. They've done a pretty good job of not getting trapped by Ohio State's press. Celia inside. Michigan's gotten the ball up the floor quicker in this game, and Ohio State hasn't had time to set the traps. OSU is the best in the Big Ten, forcing 20 turnovers a game. They've forced seven in this one, and none have come in the second half. J.C. Sheldon's first field goal attempt of the day is good. No, but she'll head to the line. You know, she at one point after the loss at the end of the regular season spoke to their freshman on the team and said, you guys didn't see my first two years here where I would come early to practice, stay late to practice. But we need that kind of effort from you. And it's stuff like that, which is why Kim barnes Rico calls her a coach's dream. Miku Lashikova, haven't called her name most of the day. And now Michigan is sitting here with a chance to take the lead for the first time since the score was 15 to 14. No shot, a foul beforehand. Foul is on J.C. Sheldon. Let's check in with Christy. 
A couple of timeouts ago, Taylor Mikesell was getting the back of her left leg massaged by one of the trainers. And she's bending over outside of the huddle. She got up, seemed to be a little bit upset. She's wiping her face. It's a little bit emotional. And the last couple of timeouts, they were working on that left leg. It's just something to keep in mind. She's obviously not in the game right now, but just watch for that moving forward. Nine points for Mike Sell. She is on the bench, like Christy was talking about. Her team now tied with the Wolverines. And just like that, Mike Sell is ready to check in at the next whistle. At the end of college basketball season, it's your body's banged up at this point. Kalashikova misses again, this time inside, and Michigan's got a five on four as Ricky Harris is floating it back. Ball's on the floor, and Theory has it. And Harris had a career high 23 points the last time these two teams met a couple weeks ago. Theory caterpillars that one in. Harris is still uncomfortable. You can see her fighting through it. Kaiser misses the close range shot. McMahon. McMahon. Oh my goodness, what a shot for the Big Ten freshman of the year. There aren't very many answers to how to slow down a player as physical and active as Cody McMahon. She's spinning through people. She is just so low when driving to the basket. I, mean, I don't know, you're going to throw three bodies at her. This is now 12 times on the season. McMahon has scored 20 points or more, and it's four of the last six games that she's done it. Ooh. Felia parts the Red Sea but can't finish. Michigan has to make those easy layups twice. They've missed layups two possessions in a row. McMahon, another spin inside! If you ain't spinning, you ain't trying for Cody McMahon. Oh, she's got all of the energy in the world right now, as she should. How do you stop someone who keeps spinning like that when they're driving? Yeah, throw like six people at her. Can you get another person on the floor to guard her? I gotta check the rule book. Can you have six mm -hmm. people on the floor at once? Patty Broderick, head of officials, is behind us. We'll ask her. Michigan needs a bucket. I'm told from our producer, Glenn Hallis, you cannot have six people on the floor at once for one team. Brown with a bucket when they needed one, stopping the 7-0 run. <laughs> Rebecca Mikulashikova is on the board. That's her first points, her first field goal. Struggled so much since then. It's going to be a foul on Taylor Theory. She's only been averaging six points a game the last nine games on the season. have made four straight field goal attempts. Offensive foul on Ricky Harris. Her third foul. That might have been a cut right there, too. Five, seven seconds for Michigan. Felia. Wow! Wow! What a play! <laughs> Like Moses parting the Red Sea, Layla Field. Explain why it's important they can move up to the four spot. The top 16 seeds, so seeds one through four in the NCAA tournament, host the first and second rounds. So if Michigan could get a four seed, that means they would be able to host in Ann Arbor the first and second rounds of the NCAA tournament, get a home crowd, which would be a huge advantage, obviously, for, for an athlete. Celia with a turnover, threw it far too high for her opponent. For her teammate, Mike Sell with a quick three. Williams has it. Michigan established an inside out game. It's going to help on line drives like that to the basket. Cody McMahon is putting on a show today. Cody McMahon misses the layup. And Kaiser spinning, dribbling, losing it. Hobbs avoiding the travel very nicely. is in the paint now. So is Williams. Gets the feed and scores. Nice job by Michigan getting the ball inside. A long two for Ebony Walker. And Michigan can tie the game on this possession. Ohio 
Washington State for seven turnovers in the first half have only forced one here in the second half. That's a massive win for Michigan. Ten to shoot for Leah Brown. Beautiful shot. We're tied. 65 up here in Minneapolis. Mike Self for three. It's unfair how quick that release is. <laughs> Only two players in the country have hit more threes than Mike Sell. Kaiser with a quick answer. That was all eye contact. Shoemate. On the drive. Beautiful flip to Theory. Offensive foul. Third time ever these two rivals have met up in the Big Ten tournament. Ohio State won both of the other meetings. Nolan for three. Got it! Cody McMahon is a freight train that can't be stopped. Everybody in a blue jersey just looked at her that possession then two tried to run with her and Quinn McMahon just getting to the basket at ease 24 points for the freshman you're curious her career high is 30 Feel you. No, but the foul on Sheldon and that ability is what makes her so elite at finishing around the rim Keep that in mind as we stay in the close game in the closing minutes Sheldon clearly doesn't have that offensive spark she normally has, but Taylor Mikesell sure does. Michigan 5-0 in neutral court games this year. Felia for two, giving the lead back to the Mason Blue. Mikesell wanted it. Rebound Nolan. Brown's leading the team with 18 points, eight assists today. Ten to shoot. Brown forces up a shot and a late whistle. Look at her get into the passing lane. Pick off Michigan and just go the other way, but her eyes, she anticipates so well, reading the eyes of the passer. McMahon's not just worried about who she's guarding. She has an awareness of what everybody on the floor is going to be doing. Four on Taylor Theory. She's the only one in the game with four fouls. Meanwhile, Ricky Harris, who left the game a little while ago, looked like knee-to-knee -knee contact, is back in the game. Watching her run right now, you can see she's not 100%. Exactly what we expect in a rivalry game in the Big Ten tournament in March, where both teams are fighting for hosting potential seeding in the NCAA tournament. Mikula Shakova, a three ball. Too strong. McMahon has it. She's going to the line. She's got a double double. Ten boards, 26 points. And you shouldn't be surprised by this close game. Nolan again, the three ball, no, and Harris has it. McMahon, offensive. You can see it in Brown's eyes. She decided the second that ball was going towards Cody, she was going to make a wall, try not to move. She did move a little, but she got the call. Her team down by two. 90 seconds left and a whistle. It's on Sheldon. The Wolverines are shooting. Meanwhile, there's only one foul on Michigan. Something to keep in mind moving forward as this is a tight game. One timeout left for the Buckeyes, two for the Wolverines in a tie ball game. The top seeded Indiana Hoosiers are waiting for the winner. JC Sheldon, the three ball. What a shot! <laughs> What a move!
Bowman for J.C. Sheldon. Cody McMahon with the rebound. It's a three-on-two break. Mike Sell. Kim Barnes-Arico calls timeout because Ohio State has scored five points in the last 20 seconds to take charge of this game late. This is only her seventh game of the year. When she first got injured, I called one of her games and I talked to her about how she's been doing. She was like, you know, I'm more a coach than I am a cheerleader on the sidelines. But I love these girls so much. I'm on Cody to try to get her better. And mentally, even though I'm not playing, I'm okay because I'm around this team all the time. Nolan tries to answer with a three. No, but Brown keeps it alive. She finds Nolan again. That's a good look. No one drills it. Leah Brown getting her teammates in positions to score, fighting to keep the possession alive, and Nolan was wide open, feet set, shoulders squared on the catch. Leah Brown has nine assists. Cody McMahon got lucky. Falling down. Kaiser has it. Kicked ball. Wolverine ball. Elise Stuck is set to inbounds the ball. No timeouts left for Michigan. If they drive and get a foul, they're going to the line as they're in the bonus. Mike Sell is on Nolan. Theory on Brown. Stuck the huge game yesterday, and it's blocked by Ohio State. Great job by Ohio State staying down in a defensive stance. Nobody fell for a Michigan ball fake or any type of penetration action. Solid, strong, fundamental defense by the Buckeyes. Leah Brown, eight in the game, loses it to Taylor Theory, gets it back, loses it, gets it back again. Brown, two on the game.